Hi, this is Joseph from Bigger Bites Bold and Mindset for Success, and here I am once again at our lovely five-star venue where we run our BBB success groups. I am today in the snooker room. Now, you probably recognize this because I do a lot of my videos here before and after I run the sessions for my entrepreneurs. Today, however, I wanted to talk very specifically about the game of snooker. Now, snooker is a game of cause and effect. In other words, you hit one ball and it hits another ball and then that ball goes off. It might hit another ball, of course, or it may go down the hole or it might miss the hole. It might even ping off the table altogether. The truth of the matter is the input that I put in through the cue affects the white ball. The white ball then goes on and hits a red ball, for example. Maybe when you were smashing the pack up like this, it affects all those balls, bam, they scatter. Now, there is no luck and there is no chance in snooker. You hit the ball and dependent on how you hit the ball and then how that ball hits the other ball will totally depend how that energy, the cause of that, gets dissipated around the table and around the other balls. Life is exactly the same. There is no luck and there is no good luck and there is no bad luck and everything else. There really isn't. There's just cause and effect. The thing about it is sometimes we can't see what we're doing to cause the effects that we're having in life. So this takes a huge degree of responsibility to be able to understand that everything that's coming back at us in life is a direct reflection of what I am doing. It's the fundamental principle of empowerment. Empowerment is this, if I am causing the effects of my life, both good and bad, then I can take responsibility for changing that in the way that I want to create change. So the metaphor is really simple. Think about those snooker balls there. There is no luck. You feel lucky because you just went whack and four balls went down the hole. However, when you broke down the science and the physics of it, you'd be able to work out there was no luck. It was the way you hit the white ball, the way the white ball hit the pack and the way the energy got dissipated and four balls went down four different holes, for example. Life is the same. Stop thinking in terms of I'm lucky here and I'm unlucky there or feeling completely disempowered like the world is just happening to you or around you and understand that ultimately you are the cause of your life. You're the cause of your success and you are also unfortunately the cause of your failure. However, the empowering thing about understanding that you are also the cause of your failure or the cause of the parts of your life that aren't fulfilling for you means that of course, whose responsibility is it for creating change? Yours. And if you're willing to accept the challenge that you are responsible for everything in your life, that is the first doorway to go through to ultimate success and also happiness and fulfillment. Life is not happening to you, it's happening because of you, is a saying you may have heard other people saying. Think about it like a snooker table. You don't just randomly whack balls, okay? If you do, you get very random results. So if you're going around life just literally metaphorically whacking these balls randomly, you're gonna get random results. But there is no luck or bad luck. It's happening as a direct result of whatever you're doing. If you want to become a great snooker player, and if you want to become a great entrepreneur, a great human being, a successful snooker player, human being, or entrepreneur, then you want to start coming back and saying, what am I doing that's creating that result, that's creating that result, that's creating that result, which is ultimately giving me whatever at the end. So three and a half minutes to think about next time you're playing snooker, or the next time you're doing anything. When I talk about cause, by the way, it could even be as simple as a thought. Thinking in a certain way creates effects. I think negative thoughts, my body turns into negative chemistry, the emotions that I feel, which turns into negative behavior, which gives me a negative result. It doesn't have to be just an action. It can be a thought that sits behind that action. Whatever you're thinking, whatever you're feeling, and whatever you're doing is causing the effects of your life. If it's not what you want it to be, then you need to get behind the scenes and you need to start causing different effects to come out as a result. I hope that helps. Until next time, be successful.